Now with Nick Walenda, he's at it again. This time, getting ready to walk the high wire above the active Messiah volcano in Nicaragua. Ooh, Nick will walk on a wire just under two inches thick above molten lava. That is, oh, 2,000 degrees. Yeah, a little warm. And this isn't the first time Nick has pushed the envelope. Take a look. Nick Walenda, known for his death-defying stunts. History awaits. At Niagara Falls. Oh it's an unbelievable view. The Grand Canyon. The winds are way worse than I expected. And just this summer, in Times Square. I'm gonna do this. What do you think, New York City? And now, his greatest attempt yet, for the highest and longest high wire walk he's ever done, Nick will attempt to walk over the active Messiah volcano in Nicaragua. To prepare, Nick has been replicating the potential obstacles at his home in Sarasota, Florida. There is heavy gases that can be so thick that you can't see, so I'll have to wear this gas mask. Those sulfuric gases emanating from the volcano could cause serious side effects. Teary eyes, sore throat, coughing, nasal congestion, tightening in the chest, difficulty breathing. Stretch that lower back out. His preparation going way beyond right, the wire. Breathe, breathe, breathe in as you go down. This is by far the biggest challenge of my career. Nick Melinda is joining us now from land, but that's not for much longer. Nick, Nick, thank you for being here. It's just amazing what you do. Thank you. It really is. And, and you said this is the biggest challenge you've faced so far. But how does wearing an oxygen mask in, a, in an oxygen tank or gas mask in an oxygen, t oxygen tank add to that? You know, it is, that is one of the reasons why it's the biggest challenge is it's not just me walking a wire mm -hmm. over per se Times Square. Of course, there were distractions there, but the distraction here is a 2000 plus degree uh, magma flow below me. Uh, the sounds alone are intimidating. Uh, it, is, it is very overwhelming, but not only that, it comes with the winds of the Grand Canyon and a heavy gas that is actually deadly. So I will have to wear a gas mask. Uh, there's very little oxygen in the air, so I've been training with an oxygen tank, uh, and as well as a wire that, uh, that we're not yeah, sure we, how it's going to react. It's heavy. It's really heavy, <laughs> but this is the actual type of wire that, that you'll walk on. It's a little bit thicker than what you usually do, but that's not necessarily a good thing. No, it's not. My entire life I've walked on a wire that's five-eighths of an inch or three-quarter, and this is a one-inch wire. So something that's unfamiliar under my feet. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, we don't know how we've done some studies, but how the gases are going to react to that wire. In fact, it's a bigger wire because of the gases. Mm -hmm. We did a test through. with a piece of half inch wire rope. Mm -hmm. And after three months, it literally crumbled in my hands. Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. So Maasai is 1,800 feet tall, which is taller than the Freedom Tower. And it's 1,800 feet long. That's six football fields. And again, it's an active volcano. So what is going through your mind when you're when you're walking this? <laughs> you know, I'm not focusing on any of the stuff you just mentioned. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm, uh, just I'm, a reminder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm focusing on what I'm doing, my skill, my training, uh, everything that I've done in my backyard. In fact, I'm putting myself back in my backyard 10 feet off the ground rather than being 1,800 feet Smart. above that volcano. So it's very much a mental game. In fact, I'm writing a book on overcoming fear right now, and it's about <laughs> categorizing those thoughts in your mind, and it's about categorizing and putting my mind again in a spot that is safe. That is a book I would read. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if anybody knows it, it's you. I wanted to say that uh, my producer said that your team in Nicar Nicaragua right now called you with a, an issue. Yeah, like a really scary. Yeah, issue. so I lost some sleep for sure over that. My dad called me the other night and he said, uh, we have some concerns. There's almost like a greasy substance that the volcano is emitting and we can't figure out what it is. And uh, so I didn't sleep that night at all. First because thing in the morning substance will be on the wire. Correct. There's a there's a, there could be a, an issue with with my feet slipping slipping. So I literally went uh, into my cupboard and pulled out a giant can of oil grease and I greased a section of the wire and walked on it fully greased. My wife reminded me then, she said, remember you did a walk in Baltimore about 15 years ago and they sent the wrong cable and it was a fully greased wire. And I went, yeah, you're right, I forgot about it. So I've walked on a very slippery cable in the past. That helps me mentally prepare yeah. for the potential of having That's to walk on a slippery cable. <laughs> and you said you used visualization to prep for this. So what do you envision? Yeah, it's, it's again, it's all about putting myself in a safe, safe conditions. A, a lot of my, my mental prep as well is um, is in the physical preparation. So I walk in heavy winds, wind machines uh, that create winds up to 90 miles per hour so that I know that, hey, the winds shouldn't exceed 40 miles per hour. I'm going to be fine at 90 miles an hour. So it's, it's about countering that negative thought of high winds. This freaks you out with a positive thought of I'll be fine. I've trained for this. We're going to have positive thoughts for you. Thank you. Yeah.
Yeah. I'm personally wondering what raises his blood pressure because, yeah, yeah. I mean, man, yeah, Nick, you're, you're amazing. We cannot wait to see you. Thanks. And it is Volcano Live with Nick Walinda. It's a two-hour event on Wednesday starting at 8 Eastern right here on ABC. GM, GMA will be there to cover it all. And Nick will join us live the morning after his high wire walk. Cannot wait to see you yeah. next week. Yeah. Good luck, man. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.